What type of boat should I buy? Hi everyone, I'm Alan Stokel. Boats often come in one of two categories, power or sail. In fact, there are many subcategories and each one is part of a niche market. Which one is best for you? In a moment, we look at which boats are for you. So, what do you want to do with your boat? Uh, do you want to go fast? Or have a boat large enough to have a party? Are you uh, buying a boat for your business? Or fishing? Or do you want to sail around the world? Each style of boat is made to do one thing very well. Very fast boats tend to be smaller with hulls designed specifically to rise up in the water. Uh, so they can go faster. Sailboats tend to be uh, much slower, uh, cheaper on fuel, and the hull is designed for the ease of flow of water um, by the hull. According to Discover Boating, large ships, some trawlers, and traditional recreational sailboats have displacement hulls. They're slower moving, but quite steady underway and are capable of carrying large loads with relatively small propulsion units. They offer good volume uh, below and significant uh, deck space above. At speed, they tend to pound when they encounter choppy waters, so they're ideal for small lakes and calm bays. Pontoon boats ride on aluminum tubes, uh, typically aluminum, they could be other materials. Traditional pontoons have two tubes, but newer designs may have three, and some times are called tritunes. Uh, pontoon boats um, are all deck space, and they make excellent boats for families or partying on the water. The uh, newer tritunes can carry large outboards, and so they've uh, become planing boats capable of uh, towing water skiers or, or reaching distant fishing spots. Semi-displacement hulls combine rounded sections for increased storage and tankage and flatter hull sections to partially lift the forward part of the hull out of the water, thereby decreasing the drag at the uh, high cruising speeds. They generate large bow and stern waves and may need high horsepower engines to get up on a plane. Larger cruising motor yachts lean towards the semi-displacement design hull. Boats with separate and distinct hulls are called multi-hulls and can be catamarans or trimarans. Multi-hulls can be either power or sailboats and have displacement or planing hulls, depending on their shape and the size of their engines. Catamarans have two hulls with a deck or a trampoline in the between. Their benefits include uh, excellent stability and depending on the size and type, significant living space below. Large cats, 35 feet and over, have become popular in, uh, for charter use because they offer more interior space and deck space and an easier motion to induce less seasickness, mal de mer. Small catamarans usually have just a trampoline in between the two hulls and are fun day sailors. Trimarans are often, but not always, sailboats. They have three hulls, a main hull and two arm uh, side hulls used just for stability. On some smaller trimarans, the arms that hold uh, these edges can be folded inwards, making the trimaran narrower, and in some cases making it uh, trailable. Remember uh, that other multi-hull boats may not be easy to find a dock for. Their width or beam can be an expensive dock drama, as you may take up two uh, parking spaces. Now, here's your homework. First, subscribe. <laughs> Ring the bell uh, so you can receive notification each time we post. Now, your real homework 
is to sit down with your partner, if you're lucky enough to have one, and decide what you're going to use the boat for. Do some research and remember, not everything you see and hear on the internet is true. I should know I'm on the internet. Some suggestions are fishing, cruising, or maybe you want a party boat or a boat that can teach you, so you can teach yourself how to sail. Could be all of the above, none of the above. Um, but before you watch part two, you really should know what kind of boat you're most interested in. Part two will deal with the nitty gritty. How much of a boat can you afford? Ahead, we also deal with other issues. How to afford a boat. Uh, some people think uh, you have to choose between a boat and a, and a car or a truck. No. How uh, to find a boat. How to buy a boat and have it surveyed and uh, how to make an offer to purchase. Now, during the pandemic, do the right thing and wear a mask. It's the most unselfish thing you can do. Until we meet again, my friends, fair winds and stay safe. Mm hmm.